Cirrhositis is the inflammation of serous tissues in the body. Most affected parts are lung lining tissue called pleura, abdominal inner lining tissue, peritoneum, and heart pericardium. When we say in cirrhositis commonly we mean that cirrhositis is not caused by infection. And fluid that accumulated in the affected areas are not infected by bacteria. Fluid accumulation in in the pleura, called pleural effusion, or fluid accumulation in the pericardial sac is called pericardial effusion, and in the abdomen, it is called ascites. Symptoms depends on underlying cause and affected area. It can be discomfort and pain in the chest, or difficulty breathing. Cirrhositis can be idiopathic and recurrent. So we cannot identify the underlying cause, but it can be secondary to other diseases include. Systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, for which it is one of the criteria. Rheumatoid arthritis. Familial Mediterranean fever, FMF. Chronic kidney failure uremia. Juvenile idiopathic arthritis. Inflammatory bowel disease, especially Crohn's disease. Acute appendicitis. Diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis. Systemic lupus erythematosus, SLE, is an autoimmune disease in which the immune system attacks its own tissues, causing widespread inflammation and tissue damage in the affected organs. It can affect the joints, skin, brain, lungs, kidneys, and blood vessels. People with SLE may experience a variety of symptoms that include fatigue, skin rashes, fevers, and pain or swelling in the joints. Other symptoms can include sun sensitivity, oral ulcers, arthritis, lung problems, heart problems, kidney problems, seizures, psychosis, and blood cell and immunological abnormalities. Treatment, SLE treatment consists primarily of immunosuppressive drugs that inhibit activity of the immune system. Hydroxychloroquine and corticosteroids, e.g., prednisone, are often used to treat SLE. The FDA approved belimumab in 2011, the first new drug for SLE in more than 50 years. Rheumatoid arthritis, or RI, is an autoimmune and inflammatory disease. RI mainly attacks the joints, usually many joints at once. RI commonly affects joints in the hands, wrists, and knees. In a joint with RI, the lining of the joint becomes inflamed, causing damage to joint tissue. I can also affect other tissues throughout the body and cause problems in organs such as the lungs, heart, and eyes. Cirrhositis because of rheumatoid arthritis is not very common. Familial Mediterranean fever, FMF, is a genetic disorder that causes recurrent episodes of fever that are typically accompanied by pain in the abdomen, chest, or joints. Chronic kidney failure. Involves a gradual loss of kidney function. Your kidneys filter wastes and excess fluids from your blood, which are then removed in your urine. Crohn's disease is a type of inflammatory bowel disease, IBD. It causes inflammation of your digestive tract, which can lead to abdominal pain, severe diarrhea, fatigue, weight loss and malnutrition. Inflammation caused by Crohn's disease can involve different areas of the digestive tract in different people. This inflammation often spreads into the deeper layers of the bowel.